Hey guys, today I want to talk about these custom resin aquarium ornaments that I've been making, uh, like the hand for the Into the Woods tank and the face that I made for this aquarium contest in Chicago. How I did it is coming up right after this. Hey YouTube, this is Peck Tech, and by the time you see this, the Chicago Aquatic Experience will most likely be over, or, you know, I'll be on the way home. I joined in the nanoscaping competition this year, and I brought uh, a custom ornament that I made. And she's pretty cool, she's pretty neat. I, I went for like a rock mermaid, okay, so it's sort of like a cephalopod that can change shapes to, her, to their environment. And the way I imagine this is she's kind of hiding behind some rocks, in her face and, and uh, the texture of her skin and everything are kind of slowly blending in with the rocks. If you'd like to see how that tank looked, go ahead and check me out on Instagram right here and uh, you'll see all the stuff that's going down. Plus, I'll probably do a live stream. Uh, I'm thinking maybe I'll put this video up on a Saturday and then Sunday maybe I'll do a live stream as things kind of wrap up. But that depends on cell phone signal and so many other factors like me being really distracted and busy. So what I'll do is, if nothing else, you'll see a lot of this next weekend. I'll also more than likely do a video just for this theme tank and kind of go around the whole philosophy for what all is going on with it. And that'll happen later on. This all happened around the 4th of July last year. We were hanging out and uh, kind of goofing around. My dad had been making molds down in the basement. He had a couple of projects going, but one of the things he molded was a, a hand. He molded his hand and it looked really cool. And Kerrigan wanted to make one, so uh, we made a mold of Kerrigan's hand. We all thought it was really, really cool. It really inspired a lot of uh, creative ideas for what we would do with it. She actually uses this for jewelry and just kind of hangs her jewelry and stuff on it. Uh, so I decided I wanted to make a hand, and I took a try at it too. Uh, it actually took a couple of tries to get one that looked pretty good. But eventually we came up with uh, what you see in there. My dad and I are by no means experts in resin molding. Uh, we're very much just kind of hobbyists goofing around, trying to do something. It's just a kind of an extended art project for us. Didn't do a great deal of reading or anything like that to really prepare for this. We just kind of went for it. Now as far as whether or not this stuff is aquarium safe, I can tell you this. I compared the data sheets from the materials that I used, and I'll share the materials that I used for all this stuff, but I compared the safety data sheets for this stuff with some stuff that I know is, is claimed to be aquarium safe, and they looked almost identical. Basically, once this stuff hardens and cures, it turns into a really hard plastic, something that's pretty much safe for aquariums. That being said, I did test this out on a small 10-gallon aquarium that was cycled up, uh, and I took a piece that before it was painted or anything, I put it in the tank for a couple of weeks and saw no ill effects from it. I mean, not even weird algae. Not weird algae, the fish seemed okay, everything seems fine. All the paints that I use for this stuff is acrylic. Uh, acrylic paint is very safe, basically it hardens into a plastic. I found that it doesn't really seem to come off. Now, in the case of the foam head that I made for the Walking Dead tank, uh, Fred the head over there, he that's foam with acrylic paint. And it did, because the, the spray bar was pointed right at the side of the head, I did notice that paint started to peel off eventually and stuff. And I kind of expected a little bit of peeling on the hand uh, once I put it into here, but it's been, it's been pretty consistent. I've even kind of scraped at it a little bit to get some algae off, and it seems to be holding tight. I don't see any peeling at all. So maybe there's something about this material that really grabs a hold of that paint a little better than foam, which shouldn't be surprising at all, right? All right, so let's jump into the Wayback Machine. I'm going to throw some footage at you from a year ago and a couple of months ago and go through all the steps that went into making a mold and uh, eventually making the resin cast of these items. Uh, so he ma you made a hand because you were, decide you were trying to make something else and just were goofing around. And then he decided it would be fun to do with Kerrigan as well. And now we're going to do the uh, So these are You the... can pick your color. You can have an orange hand, kind of an amber hand, a white hand, or a clear hand. 
I think I want to do a white one. Yeah, that's what it's safe unless you drink it or eat it. All right, so what he's going to do is he's going to mix this with water, and it's going to make a soft mold. I'll put the hand, put the hand inside the mold. We're going to do this, but this is, doesn't necessarily represent the correct way to do it. Yeah. Just represents a way to do it. Just a way to do it. So we need this. We need this uh, up to there in water. Okay. Cold or hot water? Warm water would be better. Warm water. Warm water. Alright, so this is the hard part. Is mix it. And then we're going to pour it after we mix it. We're going to pour it in here and you need to decide ahead of time you know, what's your how is this going to be? You have to fit it in there. Just barely. I can't touch the sides, right? Right, or the bottom. A little bit of water in. Pour about half of it in. And I'll try to go slow, and then... I'll and then I can you, pour it in while you're... I'll tell you when, and then you can pour in some more. I'll pour in more. Just pour it up to me. My hand has been moistened and it's ready. Don't say that word. <laughs> Moist. <laughs> Don't stick it in right away because I need to. Are you gonna whack it and maybe knock some air bubbles out or something? Yeah, it still doesn't look like it's mixed properly. Uh, it's all chunky. Yeah. It's still work though. Yeah. This one didn't come out as well. It's like it's set up so fast. I guess I stirred it too long. Yeah, I'm waiting for the. You got another minute, so. Another minute. This turns solid. Okay, so just gently wiggle my fingers. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna hold on. Gently. Gently. That was kind of cool. That was hand gas. It looks like you got something in here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a hole that would represent my hand pretty well. So now if we kind of do this. So what's next? What's next is we have to figure out how much stuff to mix to fill in there. So that's the colors. That's the white pigment. So once you combine them, you have 120 seconds to get it poured into the mold, right? Well, now you have 150 seconds. 150 seconds. Deadly beer. Slosh it around, make sure you get it everywhere in there. There you go. Ooh, it's hot. Pour it in there.
Yeah, should be interesting. Well, you can really feel the heat from that chemical reaction off the top. So, how long has it been? Like a couple of hours? Maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. It's plastic. Smack it! Yeah! Ooh! Oh, man. Yeah, that worked perfect. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> and here it is, my hand. It's a little rough. I'm gonna go home and probably trim this up with the Dremel and stuff, and just have like, you know, that iconic Peck Tech hand reaching into a bucket, immortalized forever. After the apocalypse will be maybe cockroaches, and rats in this hand will be all that's left. My original idea for this video, I was gonna include all the steps I used to make this head, uh, but the thing is, it was a little bit more complicated. There were some other steps. We did things a little bit differently, uh, not terribly differently from the hands, but just a little bit, it was more involved. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover the steps that I went through to make this thing in another video, probably a video about the aquarium that I'm setting up for the convention. So we'll cover all that later. And folks, that's all I got for you today. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe if you're not already. And until next time, follow your bliss, keep a clean tank, mold some body parts. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Going. Yeah. Karen, what are you doing? I'm making a frisbee. You're making a frisbee out of the stuff that was left in the bucket. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Let's have a real good close look at it. Standing on the fingernails and. Do you have fingerprints? I think so. Siri!